Wow, it's going 40 km per hour. So we will be checking new speed hacks for Fido D11 e-bike today. We will be removing the stock 24 km per hour speed limit. And checking other hacks to try increase the maximum speed even further. By the way, did you know this bike has a cruise mode? Look at me riding with no hands. Ok, so to enter bike settings, I power the bike and hold both screen buttons to enter the settings menu. We can scroll through all the settings with the top button and pick a setting with the lower one. So setting 1 allows to switch between 36 and 48 volts battery which is not useful in our case. Setting 2 allows to change wheel size, 200 equals to 20 inch uh, wheels and setting 3 sets the maximum speed limit, which is 25 right now, so let's change it to something higher, maybe 35 km per hour for now. So I hold the top button for 2 seconds to set a new value and I can turn the bike off now. Let's just uh, double check if a new value is set. So I enter the setting menu again. And yeah, we have 36 uh, kilometers per hour set now. And I don't even need to ride the bike. I can simply lift the rear tire and see if we will get a different maximum speed now. Okay, let me get a better camera angle. And now the bike is still stuck at 24 km per hour. So maybe let's try our usual fight on log hack by holding throttle and brakes at the same time and turning the bike on. Error 4 flashes, which indicates that any speed limit should have been removed uh, from the controller. Again, don't forget to turn the bike off and on. And let's see if the speed limit is gone. Nope, the bike is still stuck at 24 km per hour. So it is time for the last resort. Let's open, let's open settings and change the wheel size. So setting 2 is 20 inches. And let's make it like 12 inches by input it 120. That will reduce the wheel size by 40%. And that means the bike will think it is going 40% slower. So we will have 40% margin left to the real speed limit, as the perceived speed by the bike should be lower than the actual speed. So the bike will think we are going only at 14 km per hour, when the real speed will be already over 25 km per hour. And the bike shows 90 km per hour, which is even faster. If we do the math, 90 km translates to, to almost 32 km per hour in the actual real speed. So let's test the real speed with the GPS app on my phone now. Okay, it's past 24 km per hour already. And 28 km per hour seems like a maximum for now. So as we can see, the bike thinks we are going only at 17 km per hour, which matches to our calculation exactly. And I want to do a second run with just a light pedaling to see if we can get even faster as 18 km per hour on a bike speedo is still way under the 24 km per hour speed limit. So 
So even with the light pedaling I can sustain 30 km per hour on this bike so easy. So let's see if we can do more hacks to increase the speed even further. I have received mudguards for this bike and to put those on I had to take the bike apart which gives us a perfect uh, opportunity to check the insides and controller on the Fido D11 and to my surprise it's a 13 amps unit which translates to over 500 watts of power with a fully charged battery. So the controller is the same power as on the faster Fido D4S model and then the only limit left is the tiny motor. So I have looked the specs online. Uh, here we have uh, YTW06 uh, motor model which has a maximum speed of only 28 km per hour according to the specifications and we have achieved exactly the maximum speed of this motor during our test. So I mean I could put a more powerful motor from Fido D4S on the new bike but what that would give us like additional 5 kilometers, maybe even less. If I pedal even slightly, I can go over 30 kilometers already on this motor. So, maybe even let's do the last final run where I will try to pedal as fast as I can and see if I can reach even 40 kilometers per hour if I really want it. Ok, so the bike can go even at 40 km per hour if I really want and when we are approaching 40 km per hour we hit uh, 24 km per hour speed limit on the bike LCD. So I guess that about 40 km real speed will be the maximum no matter how hard I pedal this bike. And yeah, it is very surprising and pleasing result. I think 30 to 40 km per hour is more than plenty for an electric bike like this. So I think I will be keeping the new Fido D11 model for the next summer. And leave a comment below if you would like to see more mods and videos about the Fido D11. I have put mudguards on the bike so far, received new semi-hydraulic brakes for this model and a new Bluetooth lock. All product links are in the video description below if you are interested. And I like the tires on this new model. It feels just more grippy and stable than the Fido D4S. But let me know if maybe we should test uh, different tires on the bike. Like more universal, like maybe slightly thicker and with deeper protector to test the bike off-road and uh, maybe even make a second comparison with uh, Xiaomi Z20 bike uh, so many people have uh, requested. But for now, thanks for watching. Check Fido D4S vs Xiaomi Z20 video if you haven't. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in next one.